Hey, hello, and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Herr Buddha, and I'm so happy that you clicked on this new reaction video. We're going to see a video from Glowing Marilyn. Go to her channel, Glowing Marilyn. I will put it down here. Follow her, see what she was doing. We're happy that they are mess up their hair. I don't know if she messed up her hair. It says no hair fell or something. The title is I bleached and dyed my hair from neon pink to purple. She bleached it. Was it before the neon uh, pink or after the neon pink? I don't know. It's really strange. So we're going to see it says bleach, it says neon pink and it says purple and it was enough for me to click on it. But before we start, can I please ask you to subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram and you can also follow me on TikTok. Uh, on Instagram, I recently uh, started to give some hair tips. Hair tips? I give some hair tips, uh, there's pictures and then a small tip. We're going to see this reaction video and I will stop this video if I can give you any tip uh, that you don't make the same mistakes as they are. Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Marjolin and in today's video I am going to be bleaching my roots and I am freaking terrified. Um, I have bleached my own hair once before but it was just, you know, from here down which is a completely different story as to bleaching from here up. I am using a completely different bleach than I used the first time because the first time I used 40 volume. Mind you, I didn't know anything about bleaching. Right now, I just have a regular 30 volume um, cream developer. First of all, we are starting here with three colors. This is a problem. Regrowth, natural. In the middle, it's some kind of faded. It's now orange, pinky color. And then the lengths are purple. If you want to have an even result at the end, you will try to get to an even bleach. If you don't start from a clean head, a clean canvas, you cannot have an even result. So she has three colors. Let's see. First of all, she's going to bleach her regrowth. Okay, that's fine. But it's really difficult for me to know what her point is. If she want to go to purple, then I would say your lengths are already purple, so don't touch them. But in the title, it says I'm going from neon pink. So is she going to try to go to neon pink in the middle? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. But that's what I'm trying to say now. If you want to have an even result, try to achieve an even bleached result. Otherwise, every color that you put behind the bleach is not going to be even because your bleach is not even, so. And I have the bleach powder. Please do not do whatever it is I'm gonna do. I'm not a professional. Everyone's hair is different. I'm just doing this because I, it's not that I trust my hands, but Sometimes you just can't afford going to the salon all the time. I was going to go do it at the salon um, just because I get um, discounted prices since I work at Ulta. But I can't afford going to the salon, especially since BTS screamed uh, world tour and apparently the best tickets are like 500. So I can't afford to get my hair done for 200 right now. I just can't. So I'm just going to eyeball this and pray that my hair does not fall out. So I'm going to go ahead and just start doing the mixture and I'll just, you know, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I just want to apologize to all the hairdressers watching this right now. I'm either going to make you really proud today or very disappointed. So Make me proud. Make, make me proud. This is pretty much what I have. And that's I'm not enough go ahead and start. I'm gonna divide it into three parts for now I'm gonna do the front part on camera and then I'll do the back off camera just because I'm gonna put two mirrors facing each other and I'm gonna try and see the back of my head that way just so that it's easier for me to get all the areas covered um, So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair right now and just get started with the bleaching so I'm gonna go ahead and just start at the top and I'll go ahead and just section it off like to this side and then I'll do this side all the way down. 
And then I'll do um, the back off camera, like I said, which I'll probably do in like the bathroom or something. This is probably one of the actual dumbest things I've ever done. Well. First of all, there is not enough bleach in the bowl to cover this big Greek growth. So this is going to be a problem. You need enough bleach. But, thank you, there are sections. This is good. Have she watched some hair Buddha videos? It already looks blonde. Well, not like super blonde, but it's, it's working. It's working. Color oh far God, enough. I see a spot here in the middle. So you have the regrowth and then you have the faded color. Here, you have to make sure that it's also bleached. Otherwise, you will have a dark band in between. Slightly go over it so you don't create a band. And if you have a band, sometimes I get a reaction. Uh, I have a dark band. What should I do? Well, this is very easy. If you have a dark band, then you will section it, but you have to ask for help. This is not something you can do by yourself. So you take sections and you put foils between each section and you color only the band, not the regrowth, not the length, only this band. So, and every time, if you have a new section, put a foil between it because the band will move. The more you go on top, the band will move and the bleach will press through and color the section underneath. So put a foil between each section. It takes a lot of time, but the result will be good. But you have to, and it depends how dark the band is, but most of the time, 10, maximum 20 volumes will be enough for a band to uh, bleach out. So don't bleach the whole length because this is light, dark light. So it will be the same, lighter, it will be also light, but still you will have the band. So you have to color only the band. This is an extra tip. I get this reaction many times or this question many times. So this is my response to that. Working. Oh my God, it's working. Oh my God. <laughs> of course it's working. I hope whoever ends up marrying me does not want Don't to, talk. Video, to be honest, because this is some other type of level of attractiveness that I'm going for right now. So the front area is done. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other half off camera, um, the back of my head, just because I need to see it or to be able to see it in better lighting. So I will see you guys once I do my entire head. So I'll be right finished. First of all, you will do the back because the front, the all the hairs in the front are fine hair. It's already fine hair, finer hair than the back. So, and it's more warm in front. So it will bleach faster than the back. So first of all, do the back and then do the front. This is important. I'm gonna let this sit on my hair for a good extra 20 to 30 minutes max. Um, I tried to get almost every I can't even see the back of my head right now, but I tried to get almost every single piece of black hair that I saw. Um, honestly, if I missed a few spots, it's fine. The worst that no, I it's not with is just um, going back to purple hair. Like, so I'll just have a fully hair of just purple. But um, what about the pink? From top to bottom instead of the gradient that I have of pink to purple, which is fine. I do like purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors, if not my favorite. So that's not a big deal for me. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay, if you put 30 minutes and you did the front first and then you colored the back, this is why I say in my, I have a video how to bleach your hair. Set two timers, start in the back. If you're going to the top, if you're finished to the top, set a timer 30 minutes and then color the front, set a timer 30 minutes. So the back and the front is equally 30 minutes. Now the front will have like one hour and the back 30 minutes. 
because she colored this first and then this last. It will take her approximately 30 minutes to color the back. If I said before, the front, the, the hair is very fine, fragile, it bleached faster, so this will be one hour. This is why breakage happens. You said, I just left it for 30 minutes. No, you left it for one hour because you bleached this first. So first do the back, set the timer and then color the front. Then you have 30 minutes all over the head. Let's see the result. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Of course, like, of course I missed a few hairs, but. <gasps> Okay, so obviously there's like, there's a little bit of orange and the back is probably a band. <laughs> the worst You see the band like, in the middle? Because like I said, my goal is, I don't even know if I have like my goal hair color anymore. I feel like this is pretty much what the entirety of my head is going to look like. So that's fine with me. Um, then you bleached it too far. As well, so you guys can see that. Anyways, I'm actually, I'm going to be mixing a lot of pinks and purples. So I just hope it looks good at the end of the day. Um, I'm a little bit scared, not going to lie. I'm a little bit scared. I'm going to take the same bowl, I rinsed it out, and I'm going to use the hair dye that I actually did my entire hair with the first time. So I'm going to mix that with the Manic Panic Hot Hot Pink. And then I'm also going to go ahead and mix in the Caracolor color conditioner. Um, and I'm going to mix the hot pink and the purple one. So there's a lot of mixing that I'm going to do. But I feel like my hair at the end of the day is just going to need all of those mixtures. Just because I don't have enough of each one individually. So I'm just going to go ahead and combine all of them and just hope it looks good. I think my roommate just... Okay, that's the thing. If I don't have enough color in my salon, I will put other colors inside so I have enough product. And hope for the best. Okay, now I see why the pink is in the title. Um, because there was not enough purple. <laughs> Difficult. I told you, I knew it. Hello there. Oh, she looks surprised. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, God, we have a Christmas tree on. I know that's. Oh my! I told Evelyn the same thing. I'm like, they're gonna roast me for having the Christmas tree up. <laughs> I have noticed time. yet. Oh my God! I have noticed there was a Christmas tree. Everybody say bye. This is what we're looking at. It's looking really red. Um, that's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a small section. Make sure everything is covered because I really don't want any blonde left. Cheers. Okay. I'm gonna look like lava girl. <laughs> Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you tell me if I missed a spot? No. No? Mm-mm. Everything's good? I think so. Wait, go to the other side and see the other side. <laughs> oh, wait. Right here. Yep. Thank yeah. you, ma'am. You're welcome. <laughs> so, I'm going to put a timer on my phone for about an hour which is a lot but usually with um hair color especially if it's like vegan and like natural you can leave it on for longer periods of time i'm gonna leave it on for an hour and then i'll show you guys how it looks so this is what i ended up with um it is a lot brighter than what i thought it was gonna be but i mean i was pretty blonde on top the back needs some help but I'm thinking of just darkening up the pink to a deeper purple. So instead of using my pink conditioner, I'll use the purple one to kind of deepen this up a little bit so that it doesn't look so bright and in your face. Because there's a lot, 
not a lot but there's a few spots in the back that i most definitely missed so if i can get my roots up here in the front to look a little bit darker i feel like it's gonna balance out with the bands you see the bands that i have in the back so it's not gonna look that splotchy or weird but i do like how it looks like i I'm always a big fan of darker roots, lighter, brighter on the lengths, not the opposite. First of all, it was bleached too white to have a dark purple or the purple on the lengths. If you want to do a bright color, if you want to do a manic panic, if you want to do, I don't know, any crazy color, just focus on your end goal. Not every color needs to go to white or yellow. If you want to have a bright red, then you can go to orange, not further. Then you will have a bright red. If you go to blonde or yellow, then your red will be more red pink and it will fade too fast. So don't go too far with your bleach. And she wanted to go to purple, so she, she didn't have to go so far with her bleach. That is why, of course, she put it pink also in the mixture, uh, but that's why it's so bright because it was going too far with the bleach. And you saw the bands that I was saying. Uh, if you don't make it even, you don't get an even result. It's not a toner or a color, it's not a magic product that will even out the bleach. It's not possible. If it's uneven to start with, it will have an uneven result, always. So I'm not a fan of how it looks um, right now. I mean, honestly, it looks good like on camera, but once I turn to the side, you start to see where I missed spots. And that's where I'm being really like anal about it. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow after I get out of work, I'm going to um, buy more hair dye <laughs> but i'm actually gonna get a deep purple this time and i think i'm just gonna fully go purple and just honestly go with it so day two um i've decided the pink she is too bright did like makeup it, in the same pink. colors but since i missed a few spots in the back of my head like there's like a little bit of spotting I want to put more purple, like kind of like this. Like I want to focus this more on the top. Um, so I wouldn't mind because this mixed in with like the brown spots that I have won't look as bad as, you know, like bright pink. I got the Rockabilly Blue from Manic Panic and then I got the Punky Color Violet. And I'm just going to mix these two. She wants to be a flight attendant for a little bit. I'll be back. After I wash this off, you guys, please pray for me. Like, please, I beg. It's very bluish. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. And she missed. Oh, please. So, this is what I ended up with. Very different, very drastic from the pink. But I think I like it better just because, like I said, it covers all the spots that i missed i can't even tell that the brown is there and it still kind of fades out to like a light purple like it looks like an ombre um so i think i did a pretty good job okay my hair has been through enough suffering in the past few days so i'm just gonna leave it how it is wait until it fades out and see what color i do next so yeah um I don't know what to say. Is it is it really, 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 really bad? No. Is it nice? No. I don't know what to say. It, it's better than the pink. If it was me, I should put the blue and the purple then on top. And then afterwards, I should do a quick wash on the lengths to make the color revive again so now here there's a lot of a lot of shining and here it's it's like faded it's like an old color 
I don't know. What do you think about that color? Put it in the comment. Uh, if there are any hairdressers, put it in the comment. If there are people that are working with Manic Panic, put it in the comment. I hope you liked this reaction video. I hope you, I hope you had a lot of tips. I had the tip of the banding, removing the banding. So uh, every video I have an extra tip. So if you like that, give this video a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram and you can also follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is, ciao kiss.